Now this week, I have been following the recent developments of fentanyl in the United States. We've heard from the Colorado General Attorney's Office and the Drug Enforcement Agency both want to see an increase in law enforcement resources. We also heard from local advocate Andrea Thomas and her tragic story of losing her daughter, Ashley Romero. The Voices for Awareness Foundation is tackling the growing concern of fentanyl in the United States and especially here on the Western Slope. She had a very big light, she had a very big smile, and she made friends with everybody that uh, crossed her path. Ashley Romero once dreamed of becoming a forensic scientist. Instead, she took a counterfeit painkiller laced with the poison fentanyl and died at 32. Three years ago, I didn't know what fentanyl was. My daughter didn't know what fentanyl was. Um, and, and now I get calls every day from mothers all across the country that have lost uh, young children to fentanyl. Shortly after Ashley died, her mother, Andrea Thomas, started the Voices for Awareness Foundation. Just two milligrams of fentanyl is lethal. Local prosecutors have seen a huge uptick in fentanyl cases. I don't believe we've seen anything that parallels fentanyl in my time as a prosecutor in terms of its availability and lethality. For teens, suppliers are as close as social media. And now joining me live in the studio is Andrea Thomas from the Voices for Awareness Foundation. Andrea, thank you for joining us. Thank now, you for having me. Of course, and I know this isn't an easy topic to discuss, but you mentioned that three years ago, you and your daughter didn't know what fentanyl was. Now after your tragic experience and the loss of your daughter's death, how can you describe this poison being called fentanyl? Well, fentanyl is like nothing we've ever seen before. Uh, it's in almost all illicit drugs that you find now. It's found in counterfeits that look just like Adderall, Xanax. Uh, it's found in more dangerous, dangerous drugs like cocaine and methamphetamine. And now we're finding it in marijuana. Fentanyl is killing first-time users and is the most dangerous thing out there. It can cause sudden death. And chemically, it's seen as a, a, a a weapon of mass destruction. It's got a chemical capability that can be a weapon, and it's very dangerous. Wow, that is very um, shocking. I mean, a lot of people, I think personally, we have heard the words fentanyl, specifically tied to a lot of overdose cases. You mentioned how fentanyl is now being attracted into drugs like prescribed Xanax, marijuana, cocaine, heroin, that are often more referred to as overdoses. So why do you think health officials and people that are tracking fentanyl cases are more likely to deem it as overdose when people that are taking this for the first time? Well, sadly, the public has an impression that uh, drugs are associated only to addicts. And we're seeing first-time users, people that are experimenting, um, are, are taking something that they believe to, be, to b believe to be a prescription drug. And these are really poisonings, they're not overdoses. So we've got to inform uh, the general public how dangerous this is and that the majority of these are poisonings. So was informing the general public kind of the main backing and purpose behind Voices for Awareness Foundation? What was kind of the start process after losing your daughter, Ashley Romero, to wanting to start this foundation and educating our viewers here on the Western Slope of this very dangerous poison, fentanyl? Well, we wanted to get the word out because we didn't know what fentanyl was in our family, and I don't believe that my daughter did either. And so people people and parents need to be informed um, how to safeguard themselves against sudden, these sudden death situations and know what to look for and not to take anything that's not prescribed by a doctor. And so something that we're really tracking is just the involvement of drug accessibility across social media, not really tied to fentanyl, but just tied to a broader range of these illicit and illegal drugs. Why do we think that such a young age of teenagers are subject to being misleaded into whatever drugs or illicit products that they're looking for on social media? Well, the, counter, the, the cartel is becoming uh, more creative every day. And so they've, they're reaching out to our children through social media and e-commerce sites. So our kids can get on and find all of these uh, pills very easy, and they can be delivered to your house like, you, like ordering a pizza. It's that easy. Well, with it being kind of that easy, what would you and your guys' foundation currently ask of our law enforcement, ask of larger drug enforcement agencies? Do we need more resources? 
What are we lacking? We do. We work with state and federal law enforcement all over the nation, and it's to get a behind-the-scenes look into what's happening all over the country. Uh, law enforcement needs training on crime scene investigation, and they also need the laws that back them. In the state of Colorado, we have a four-gram law that we need to address, and law enforcement then can find these people that are uh, killing our kids. Exactly. I mean, killing our kids, this is a drug that is out there. People might not know what they're being subject to, but something we brought up is just crime scene investigations. What are we seeing when a fentanyl case is being reported of our local law enforcement going to a scene? What are they able to grab at this scene that could then be help charging dealers that are in our area passing these poisons out? Well, all of the evidence. So if uh, they find any of these pills or can go through their phones, um, and parents give them as much information as they can in regard to their child's passing. This is, in, this is very important to prosecution for the distributor. And, and just going off of that note, tied specifically to your daughter's case, can you just let us know about the current dealer that was here on the Western Slope? There were a few other people associated with your daughter's death in that same case, is that correct? My daughter was one of many, and our local DEA uh, worked diligently uh, to prosecute the distributor in my daughter's death and, and several others. And, and they, they did, they had backing with the crime scene investigation, they had information and they, fought, they could follow through on all of these things. And we have parents all over the country that, that that's not happening for. So crime scene investigation is very important. And with you guys' message here at Voices for Awareness Foundation, um, you know, passing along these warnings for a lot of families out there that it was too late, especially in your guys' case here, but what do you really want to hit home to the parents of Western Slope families out there just watching to be cautious and to tell their own kids? Well, it's very prevalent and it's easily accessible. One of these pills can kill. So talk to your family. Uh, it's not only happening to children, it's happening to adults too. Don't take anything that's not prescribed to you. Exactly right, guys. One pill can kill. Well, thank you, Andrea, for joining thank us live you. in the studio. At home, if you would like to learn more about Andrea Thomas and her story with Ashley Romero, or learn more about Voices for Awareness, you can head to westernslopenow.com. And at, when we return, we have a full weather forecast for you guys prepared for holiday travel, and a packed sports segment with Durin Worrell is to come. Stay with us.